Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're going to drive Interstate 269 in Tennessee, which is the outer beltway around Memphis. As of now, and for the foreseeable future, I-269 only forms a quarter of a loop on the eastern and southern side of the city, and none of it is within the Memphis city limits. I-269 is also planned to serve as a bypass of the not yet signed or completed I-69 through Memphis, so there are at least plans for it to form a half loop to rejoin the future I-69 north of Memphis. I-269 in Tennessee was built along the existing State Route 385, which still exists to the north of I-40 and will reappear in the south near the Mississippi state line. This is a very recently opened interstate, with the upgraded freeway opening in sections beginning in 2007, still signed as State Route 385. The highway was then redesignated as I-269 beginning in 2015 and finalized on October 26 of 2018, when construction of the freeway was completed in Mississippi, creating an unbroken link between I-55 and I-40. When I-269 was signed along the highway, the State Route 385 designation was removed, splitting that highway designation into two sections. Upon being signed as I-269, the highway was given the name of Winfield Dunn Parkway. Dunn was the 43rd governor of Tennessee from 1971 to 1975 and will celebrate his 96th birthday on July 1st of this year. Up until this point, we've been in Shelby County, but here we cross over into Fayette County. From here south, I-269 follows the Shelby-Fayette County line pretty closely, but the highway takes a zigzaggy course that crosses the county line seven times over the next 12 miles.
we enter the town of Collierville, established in 1836 and incorporated in 1850. Collierville is the third largest municipality in Shelby County, with a population of 51,324 at the 2020 census. Collierville's downtown area is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and in 2014, Collierville's historic town square was ranked by Parade Magazine as the best main street in America. The town sustained severe damage during the First Battle of Collierville in the Civil War, and most of the town was completely burned down. Collierville was reincorporated in 1870, and during the 20th century grew with help from the cotton, dairy, and manufacturing industries. The average value of housing in Collierville in 2017 was estimated to be $286,700, whereas market listings in 2021 estimate a value of approximately $433,000 following a steep increase in housing prices. Now we've crossed the county line again, putting us into the city of Piperton, which had a population of 2,263 as of the 2020 census. Piperton is primarily a residential community, and it's known for its peaceful and rural atmosphere. The town has several parks and green spaces. Piperton is also home to several churches, a community center, and a few small businesses. Although it's a small town, Piperton has gained some notoriety for its high number of speeding tickets, as noted by USA Today in 2007. However, the town's police department has stated that their focus is on ensuring safety on the roads rather than generating revenue through ticketing. Overall, Piperton is a quiet and friendly community that offers a relaxed pace of life and close-knit atmosphere. We conclude today's video as we reach the Mississippi state line. Thanks for watching. We've enabled channel memberships, so for just $1 a month you can help support our channel and receive special perks. Click the link in the description to join. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.